My favorite thing about the car has nothing to do with any of my modifications, absolutely nothing with anything I've done to it. It's just straight up the Mark II, the way it feels, the way it handles, the, the sound, the smells, everything behind it. It's just, it's so addictive. You, you just, every time you get behind the wheel, you honestly feel like you're, you're 15, 16 years old again. And that's probably my favorite thing about the car. My name is Ben Hobson. I have a 1987 Volkswagen Golf GTI. Uh, it was originally 16 valve, now it's a 16 valve turbo. Long story short, um, got the car in Salina, Kansas. Um, that's my hometown. I would drive past this car every day on the way to school, uh, during middle school, and it would just sit on the corner every day. And I just thought it was the coolest car I've ever seen. And so, you know, about two years of this going back and forth from school, eventually I saw it sitting on the corner with a for sale sign in it. So, you know, I got all my, all my pennies and dimes and everything together and went over there and talked to the guy and eventually we came to a price and I, I purchased it. And, uh, it was not the car you see today. That thing was beat up, missing bumpers, fenders were all jankety. Um, I think the grill and headlights were, I don't even know, I was missing headlights. It was, it was rough, really rough. I knew it had potential. Uh, I'd seen a few others, and this is before the internet had even really taken off. So I'd seen a few pictures and I had an idea what I could do to it. You know, it was such a fun car that I just, I needed to see what I could, you know, potentially get out of this car. Right away, uh, you know, the car was Porsche lime green, which stood out big time. My parents were not fond of it at all. Every, every time I took it anywhere, people just looked at me just crazy. They didn't understand. And, you know, this is before Fast and Furious came out, so people just had no idea anything about the car, what I was going for. It was just a green turd with no bumpers on it. I picked the car up my freshman year of high school, so I've had 18 years now. Uh, it took a lot to get this far, and like I said, I did not plan on, you know, building it this far. It's just, it, it just one thing after another, and you just get addicted, and you really enjoy it, and, you know, you get out, and people, and people see it, and they enjoy it. It just motivates you more and more, so... Um, it actually got broke into um, right out of high school, uh, and so I tore it completely down and decided I was just going to start over the way I've always wanted to do it. Um, besides that, I've been hoarding some pretty rare parts like my pop-outs and, and that roll cage and stuff, so I was like, I'm going to do it big when I redo it, and so um, that's what I did. We, we stripped it down to bare metal, did all the body work, um, ended up painting it this paint color, so this paint's now 14 years old, but uh, it's holding up pretty good. But that's the color we went with, and uh, that's as far as it went. We painted it, put some of the pieces back together on it, and then it just sat in storage for about 10 years. Um, the reason for that being is I went off to college, didn't have the time, didn't have the finances to do it properly, and I wasn't gonna half-ass anything, so I figured just let it sit in storage till I'm done with the school, and it finally puts uh, the time and effort in it and it deserves. And so once I got out, this is what I did, and here she is today. So. It basically sat, you know, in storage for 10, 11 years, and so when I bring it out, everyone's just like, man, this is a time capsule, because the way I designed it was, was the late 90s, you know, the German styling and all that, and so it's, you know, that, that style's actually come full circle, and people are just seeming to enjoy it, enjoy it a lot right now, so that's a big surprise to me. What's next with the car? Uh, I think I'm just gonna get out and drive it and enjoy it, just honestly just drive the hell out of it, you know, I've put so much time and effort into it, and, you know, I take it to shows and, you know, try to help people out if they're trying to do, you know, the same thing, help them out on how to get there, but uh, I'm just going to drive it, have fun with it, maybe start a new project, who knows. <laughs>